um, this is my 36 gallon glowfish aquarium uh, it is in the middle of uh, a re aquascape right now uh, I got rid of all the old stuff because it was a planted tank when I got it it was a used tank um, and it just the smell was was awful I did not like the smell at all I couldn't get the smell to go away finally I uh, figured out that it was the the dirt or the soil that was used to make it a a planted aquarium um, so it is currently in the middle of a rescape and well those colorful rocks in there will be covered up eventually because I want it completely black on the bottom it's gonna be a glow fish tank completely uh, this over here um, I had a flu valve 304 I think it was I don't remember what it was but um, well it kind of exploded on me it was old it was used to came with the tank um, it was constantly like throwing air out the return so it was sucking air in through where the the motor housing goes on the canister itself um, I did find a fix for that online where you take your airline tube cut it and and put it on there and it makes the seal tighter that completely failed it blew up sprayed water all over probably got 10 gallons of water on my floor in probably five seconds uh, it was a big mess I got that cleaned up though uh, didn't lose any fish from that because you know it's a 36 gallon bow front aquarium so plenty of water luckily I was here when it happened um, but this video is not for the tank I just wanted to show off my tank um, it's not the prettiest right now but again it is in the middle of a rescape and I did just do a water change which is why it's kind of cloudy um, but this is what we are after today it is the Viva Grow 24 7 light fixture LED of course um, I've seen plenty of reviews for this particular light fixture online um, they all said that it was a good light fixture except for one thing they said that the remote the RGB on the remote the red the green and the blue on the remote was backwards so when you hit red it would be green when you hit green it's blue when you hit blue it's red well I got to playing around with it and I found that that is not entirely the case um, hold on let me show you what I mean okay here's the remote um, it is a, a Phoenix planted plus well Phoenix 24 7 planted plus knockoff light that is exactly what it's mimicking and the remote looks identical the only difference is it says Viva grow where it would say Phoenix on the Phoenix um, but there are some things I like about it I don't like the like the 24 7 mode uh, it comes on too early in the morning like my time for some reason it likes to start coming on uh, at 5 a.m. when the Sun here doesn't come up until 6 37 a.m. or even 6 a.m. Uh, but here's what I'm talking about see we have the red the green the blue as you can see the light is currently off the blue lights you see there are just this 
I have that light there and then one over here. They're just $20 Walmart blue LED for glow tank lights. Well, glow fish. Um, I'm going to shut it off right here. And we'll shut the other one off over here. Okay. Now you can see tank is off. Okay. Now, got my remote. Let's focus here. Got the RGB going. As you said, the tank is off. But I'm going to hit the red button here. See my thumb is on the red. And as you can see, the red LEDs are indeed on. Okay. Now, if I hit the green, this is where everybody's getting it wrong. If I hit the green, of course the green comes on, but it's not green. What color is that? Well, let's look. Yellow. It is yellow. Like a I would say do yellow maybe I don't know but it's yellow it's not green okay so now how do we get it to be just green well if we look at the remote here you have for white red green and blue you have the arrows to turn the intensity of the LED up or down well let's hit the down arrow for the red and look what happened. Now we are green. Okay. So if we go max, there's max. And if we was to look at this, it'll probably blind you if I try it. So I'm not going to. You have all of your white LEDs are on, all of your blue, all of your green, and all of your red are on completely max. I love this light. It is definitely brighter than what was on the tank before um, but now if we go ahead and hit red on this yeah well what happened it turned blue the blue LEDs are showing up more you can't tell on the camera so let's turn off the white completely sit down 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 till the white goes, comes on Okay, there. Now, we are blue-ish green. Okay, well what happened? Tell you what happened. The red LEDs are still on. They are still on. However, when you hit red on here, it turned them down to medium or lower. Which allowed the other two colors to show through. So... To get it to go to what you want, you have to turn down, we wanted red, you have to turn down the other colors. So now we are completely blue, but it looks purple now because, like I said, the red LEDs are still on. So now let's just turn down the blue. And it is red because now blue and green and white are completely off now let's turn off the red LEDs okay just hit the down arrow now you want green you want the green so let's hit green what happens when we hit green let's see what happens when we hit green oh look at that green comes on turn it up that's green and we hit the green button Turn it all the way down till it goes off. This is how you have to do it. Now you want blue. Blue comes on. You can turn it up or down. Hit the down arrow to turn it off. Hit red again. Red. Okay. So that's how you have to do it. So everybody who said that this was backwards, um, they're not entirely right. They're not entirely right. What the problem is, is when you hit red, it turns the red LEDs down in intensity and allows the other colors to show up more than the red. So you have to go through individually and turn them 
off. I don't know how the Phoenix works because I've never had a Phoenix planted plus light. In fact, this is the very first planted LED light that I've had that has a 24-7 mode on it. My other LEDs, um, I've got three Beamswork LEDs. Um, they are the EA LED light fixtures. I love them. They are way cheaper than the other stuff that you can get and they're just as good. I do plan on doing um, reviews on those as well because I don't feel that the reviews that are currently on YouTube are entirely spot on on some of the other cheap LED light fixtures that you can get. I know that some big time YouTube channels have done them, uh, done reviews on uh, LED light fixtures such as Aqua Neat and Beams Work and Viva Grow and some other light fixtures that I can't remember the names of. But I do plan on getting them and doing reviews on them and, and seeing if, um, pointing out things that I think that the big time YouTube channels, uh, may have wrong. Um, it's, it's not their fault that they have them wrong. Um, the big time YouTube channels, let's face it, they go with the expensive stuff. Well, not everybody can afford the expensive stuff. Every, most people, uh, can't afford the expensive stuff. Uh, unless, you know, they have, you know, a really good job. I mean, take Joey Mullen, for example. He is a big-time YouTuber. I love all of his videos. Um, I Actually, he's the one that got me started in the aquarium hobby in the first place, uh, as heavily as I am now. Um, and... Most of his uh, LED lights and stuff that he uses is stuff that most people can't afford. Like, uh, one of his light fixtures costs $200 plus. Dollars. Like, I mean, I know recently he has switched over to just a regular LED shop light. But, or even the regular shop lights that are fluorescent bulbs. But... I mean, those aren't practical for lighting. Most people want an, a cheap light that doesn't use as much electricity these days. Well, these cheap LEDs are the way to go. Viva Grow, Beams Work, Aqua Neat, and there are many others. I will review them. Uh, I am new to YouTube, so this isn't going to be as good as, you know, some of the other YouTube channels, and even they mess up sometimes, too. They admit it. So, I'm a novice when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, just did a water change in this tank. It's still filthy. I have a lot of work to do on it. Um, but, uh, I like this light. I like it because, one, it's cheap. Two, it's definitely a lot better than what I had before. It was uh, those T5 fluorescent tube bulbs. I they're, they're junk, in my opinion. I didn't like it at all. Um, and they use a lot of electricity, which is unnecessary. Um, but, yeah, this is... This is a really nice light for the money. I don't remember how much I paid for it. Um, I will have to look it up and see how much I paid for it. Um, I will put that somewhere in the video. Uh, I think it was about 45 or $55 on eBay. Um... I do use Amazon somewhat, but um, I, I don't really get on there too often because 
most of the time when you find the deals on there they're for amazon prime members only and for some reason my amazon prime membership is not working I'm not sure why so i have to get that fixed um but uh if you guys want to know more about any of these lights or want me to do a review on these lights i can definitely um get the light fixtures uh if you guys know of some that I don't know about, um, leave a leave the name down in the comment section, and I will definitely check them out uh, if I can afford them. Because I am on a budget, if I can afford the light fixture, I will get it, and I will do a review on it. Uh, for now, I'm only doing LED lighting. LED light fixtures is all I'm doing for now because, well, I think that all the other light fixtures are just junk and a waste of money. Um, I will not buy them. I'm phasing out all of my other light fixtures. I have one more to do. And then I'm totally LED. And that's on my 50-gallon guppy tank, which I will show you in another video if you guys wish. Um... But yeah, that's that's my take on the the Viva Grow 24/7 LED light fixture. I have not had any problems with it. Had it for about two weeks now. Uh, ordered it at the beginning of this month, which is Oct was October 1st, 2018, and I received it within oh I would say probably three days. So I've had it for two weeks give or take um good light good light don't have any complaints except for uh the 24 7 mode comes on too early in the morning it shouldn't come on start coming on till about six it comes on about five and uh when i push the red green or blue uh, i should turn off the other leds and turn whatever color i push to max it doesn't it should, but it doesn't. Only two complaints about the light. Other than that, good light fixture. This video is only to educate people, hopefully the ones who got it wrong, saying that the buttons are backwards, they watch this video and will learn how to actually use the light fixture the way that the manufacturer set it up. Uh, I hope that maybe the manufacturer We'll look at all those videos and, and this one too and maybe fix the problem. Because um, it definitely needs to be addressed. It should, not, it should not work how it works, but what can you do? It's a cheap light fixture. You get what you pay for. If I could afford the, the Phoenix 24-7 Plant Plus, I would probably buy that just to try it out and do a review on it. But I can't afford it right now, so... I mean, I don't feel like paying 80 some to 100 and some dollars for an LED light fixture when I can get cheaper ones that are just as good. So, uh, if you like this video, um, drop a like, a thumbs up. Uh, if you want to see more videos, definitely hit that uh, subscribe button and uh, press that notification bell. Uh, so that uh, I know that you like it and that you want to see more, leave me comments in the sec comment section below and I will definitely upload more videos like this. You can also give me ideas for uh, other topics. I would love to hear those and I will definitely look into them. Uh, for now, that's, that's all I've got to say. Um, until next time. See you later.